How fast are we going? 270 kilometers per hour. Most of the research that goes on in here is so secret, we're actually not allowed to show it. A secret, secret. <laughs> Can we get a little closer? Sorry, one second. No? <laughs> oh. 185 tons, the whole train together. Higher up, the valley is so rocky and so narrow, avalanches come down there every spring. Very dangerous. It's really steep, yeah. We need the cockwheel. That is the Landwasser Viaduct. It's the most famous of the hundreds of viaducts on the Glacier Express route. And it is awe-inspiring. We are standing in front of the new Alvala Tunnel 2. The next step will be we open the rock with the heavy machines. One man died per mile of track in building the Canadian Pacific Railroad. The Canadian is an object that captures Canada because through it, you can experience the whole country. Certain part of this journey that's the roughest for you guys? Pretty much this part because it's straight line, so we can go as fast as we can, right? You are aboard a railroad that was built over 100 years ago during the historic Klondike Gold Rush. So you can see the front of the train snaking into that tunnel. That's a tunnel that was built in the late 1800s along with the original part of this line. Number 73 is the pride of our fleet, is a 1947 Baldwin locomotive. It is a sight to behold. Every 10 kilometers, we go up 120 meters. Look at that. It's incredible. We have to de-ice the train to make sure that we won't have any brake failure. This heavy traffic on this line, we are driving up to the north and down again. There is only one track. You have avalanches, they can't get through. It will be a long, long journey. This is my train now. All a kilometre long of it. This train travels one of the most difficult routes in Australia. It's been fighting its way across the outback for almost 100 years. Sometimes, the outback wins. <laughs> 